All right, here we go with the first problem set. We've been talking about work algebra word problems, and I went over the basics in the previous video, and now it's time for problem set one. Now, I want to remind you that these kinds of problems basically look like this. You'll be given information about how long it takes one person to complete some work, how long a second person it takes to complete the work, or how long it takes them to complete the work together. So it's basically these ratios added together to give you the total ratio, okay? It's kind of a fraction problem. So we're gonna have to find common denominators and solve. So here's your problem I wanna kinda walk you through. I'll show you a shortcut. All right, remember for these problems, we're gonna round the answer to the nearest 100th. All right, looking at number 17. Working alone, Mofor can harvest a field in 12 hours. Carlos can harvest the same field in 14 hours. Find how long it would take them if they worked together. All right, the first person can do it by themselves in 12 hours. So that's going to be 1 over 12. That's his or her part of the job. And then we're going to add it to the part that Carlos can do by himself. And that's going to be 1 over 14 hours and that's going to be one over the total together. All right, how long would it take them if they worked together? Well, that would be one over x. Well, to get rid of all these fractions, we need to find a common denominator and multiply all three parts by that common denominator. So we would look at 12 being um, 2 times 2 times 3, 14 being 2 times 7, and the x is still going to be an x, okay? Now, what we can do is look to see which parts are not included. So I see the 12, that's made up of a 2, 2, 3, and notice I'm missing the 7 and the x. So I multiply the top here by 7x. All right? But here's a better idea. This is a shortcut. The common denominator that I'm going to use is going to be the 12 times the 14 times the x. Now there is a common factor of 2 involved here, but basically this is the quickest way to get to the next stage even though the numbers will be bigger and we might have to simplify a little bit when we're done. So the idea is this, the first fraction already has a 12 so it's missing the 14 and the x. So we're going to multiply the top part of that fraction by 14x. That makes it easy, doesn't it? Here, the second fraction has a 14 in the denominator, so I have to have the 12 and the x up here, 12x. And here, I already have the x, so it's going to be the 12 times the 14, whatever that is. 12 times 14. All right, let's write the next stage in the equation. The next equation would be 14x plus 12x equals 12 times 14 is 168. All right, let's combine our x terms together. So that would be 26x equals 168. I'm going to divide each side by 26 to get x by itself, of course. And now my answer is going to be 6.46. We're going to round to the hundredths, so 6.46 six hours. All right, it's not going to take them that long if they work together. All right, now I'm going to show you these two problems here I'd like you to try. And let's scoot this over a little bit. Now go ahead, as always, pause the video and see if you can solve numbers 18 and 19 by yourself. Come on back when you're done. Number 18, it takes Ted 10 hours to harvest a field. So there we go, 1 over 10. Together, they're going to be working. So Willie can do it in 15 hours. So 1 over 15 for Willie. Now together, they're going to be, it'll take them X hours. So remember the shortcut. Here, I'm going to find a common denominator of 10 times 15 times x. Now, yes, there is a common factor of 5 involved between the 10 and the 15, but simply and a little bit faster here, I'm going to just put together the 10 times the 15 times the x. And let's see what's missing. So here, the first fraction already has a 10. That means I need to multiply the top by 15x. 
Here, I already have the 15, so I multiply the top by the 10 and the x, 10x. Here, I have the x already, so I'm going to multiply it by 10 times 15, which, of course, I can do in my head. That's 150. Now I have 15x plus 10x equals 150. We're going to add those x terms together, which would be 25x equals 150. Divide both sides by 25, and my final answer is going to be 6. 6 hours. All right, that wasn't so bad, was it? All right, good job if you got that right. Now, number 19. Working alone, it takes Cody 10 minutes to sweep a porch. Jacob can sweep the same porch in 8 minutes. How long would it take them if they worked together? Well, what's the equation going to look like? Cody, x over 10. Jacob, I didn't mean x, 1 over 10. And Jacob is 1 over 8. Together, we don't know. So we'll call that 1 over x. All right, your common denominator is going to be 10 times the 8 times the x, okay? Now, that may not be the smallest common denominator I could use because I have a common factor of 2 there between the 10 and the 8. But again, this is kind of a shortcut. So the first fraction already has the 10, so we have to multiply the top by 8x. Second fraction has the 8. That means I have the 10 and the x left over. Multiply the top by 10x. Here I have the x in the denominator. What's left? The 10 times the 8. Remember to multiply there and that would be 80. Moving on I have 8x plus 10x equals 80. Hopefully you've tried this already for yourself. That's going to be 18x when we combine like terms equals 80. Divide each side by 18 and what did you get? Yep, it should be 4.4 hours. Okay, 4.4 hours when they work together. Now hopefully at this point you say, hey, that's pretty easy and I don't need to see any more. But that's if the unknown that they're asking for is how long it takes them to work together. Now we're going to mix this up in the next problem set same idea but different things that they'll be asking for so I challenge you to take a look and try those yourself it'll be problem set two thanks for watching